Hey everybody, Summer Moon Garden here. I am just so excited to share this with you. We've been gone all day long at a family event and I came home to find a Valentine's Day present uh, waiting for me on the front porch. And here it is, how exciting. I got five Parfuma Bliss roses for Valentine's Day. And I plan to put these roses out by the fire pit in that little small uh, garden bed that we just made uh, this past weekend. So I'm gonna open up the box and I will show you how everything looks. Okay, so here's three of the five and there was not another box out there. So I'm wondering if it's on its way or they just didn't send the correct amount. I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm probably gonna have to send them an email to see what's up with that. Um, Cause you would think that they would have all five delivered at the same time, but who knows? So I'll probably have to contact, contact them on that. But I wanted to just see how they're boxed. They do a really great job with their uh, shipping. So things stay nice and uh, solid in there and don't, you know, everything is wrapped up nice and neat. So uh, the plants do not get damaged. But here's the tag for Bliss. It's a really beautiful rose. And I've actually already have three of these roses up front. Uh, two of them I purchased from Witherspoon Roses and one I purchased from Palatine. Um, the ones from Witherspoon, I believe they are grafted. Um, I'm not sure if they're grafted or on root, but I'm pretty sure they're grafted on probably on Huey. Um, and then the Palatine Rose is, of course, grafted onto Multiflora. So, and these, um, I believe these are actually own root if I remember correctly. So it's kind of nice to get, you know, the same rose, if you really, really love a rose, which I really, really love this one. It's good to get this particular, whatever that particular rose is, in different um, root stocks or own root or, you know, different grafts and just try out and see what works best for you in your garden. All right, I'm gonna pull these out so we can get a better look. All right, so they come up, come packaged pretty nice and neat in this little box here and you just unfold it and the rose pops out nicely whoops just like that so nothing gets damaged this one looks like it's just putting out some new growth you see it's got some new little growth points here whoops and overall that's a, and it's got, look, it's got some little spots here that are ready to start. So I think this is great. You know, for the price, I think this is a great rose. Okay, so here's all three. The one in the middle has a lot more new growth on it than the others. But I mean, these still look good. And you can see where there's going to be plenty of points where leaves come out. So I'm not worried about it. Um, foliage looks really healthy. There's no black spot, which is great. Definitely looks like they've sprayed them with something. There's, it just looks like there's a powdery something or other on the canes, which, you know, that's fine too. It's probably something to help with uh, the health of the rose. So, uh, but the funny thing is that it's really super cold tonight, a cold front. Uh, cold front came through tonight and it's super rainy and windy and of course all this past week it was gorgeous beautiful warm weather and um what the plan is is I'm gonna plant these out um because they really this look this growth looks like it could probably handle colder weather um we only have like one night coming up where it's in the high 20s, I think, like 28 or 29. And usually, um, you know, a rose like this can take one or two nights of that. I actually already have an Eden rose that I planted out there that has a bunch of new growth on it. And it's been able to withstand 28, 29 degrees at night 
um, on several occasions and it's been fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant these out uh, once the weather warms up, which will probably be on Monday, I believe is when it will warm up. Um, and so I'll go ahead and put those out. And of course I still have to wait for the other two to get here. So I gotta figure that out too. Um, but anyway, I just thought it'd be fun to show you guys just a little quick peek of what was arriving in the mail today because it's a whole lot of fun being able to receive these in the mail. And they're such a beautiful rose. And this one is supposed to stay on the shorter side. Here it says three feet by two feet. Some people have said it's gotten up to four feet in our zone, which I'm a zone seven. Um, so we'll see what happens and they're their own root, so they should grow really well, shouldn't have any issues there. Also, I wanted to show you how they pack the roses. So it's wrapped in this plastic bag, and then on top they have wet newspaper protecting the top of the pot. So it helps to keep the soil moist and as well keep it from falling out. So I'm gonna remove this real quick. Okay, so here is the newspaper removed and I just want to show you how it looks so you kind of have an idea of what to expect. If you ever order from Antique Rose Emporium, the soil is nice and wet. You don't want it dried out. Um, these came from Texas. That's where Antique Rose Emporium is located. And so it, I mean, it had a pretty good distance to go, but not too far, um, you know, as compared to like, say, if they were headed up north or something. Um, so yeah, so this is how it's looking. And again, these are own root, so you're not going to see a graft or anything like that. And that's another reason why they're on the smaller side. But honestly, the roses that I've gotten from Antique Rose Emporium, as well as like heirloom roses, those own, own root roses, they grow really, really fast. Um, they're really, really healthy. So I highly recommend this company. I really love them. I've loved all the different roses that I've ordered from them in the past. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how these grow. I'm just going to give them a little drink of water since they've been traveling. They don't really need it, but I don't know. I feel like it's kind of just like saying, welcome to your new home. <laughs> it just gives them a little something. So the low for tomorrow night is supposed to be 36. So I'm going to keep these babies inside and um, gradually Monday through Thursday, the temperatures are supposed to rise in um, into the 70s actually by Thursday. So can you believe that? <laughs> 70 degrees in uh, Georgia. So that's how I like winter to be. <laughs> Um, but it won't stay that way forever. I haven't seen the extended forecast beyond this week, but I think that they'll be fine outside and I really hate to be keeping them in um, just for a couple of cold nights. I think roses are usually pretty resilient and they can handle a few cold nights, um, cold temperature nights. So I'm going to probably go ahead and put these out sometime this week while it's warm. But anyway, that's that guys. Not much else to do here in February, um, but I just thought you'd like to see the new roses arrive because it's always fun. I need something to keep me going through these cold winter days. So hope you guys are having a great week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.